Melanie and welcome back to Living Luxuriously for Less where we celebrate, decorate, and enjoy everyday life for less. So in today's video, I am going to be doing a DIY that is sort of long overdue, um, only because I feel like this is a trend that was something I did several years ago, but many of you guys have been asking me for like inexpensive DIY centerpiece ideas. And I know I've been sharing, you know, more over the top type events lately here on my channel. So I do want to share, share with you guys um, this Dollar Tree DIY, very, very simple to do. Um, you can probably do 10 centerpieces for an average of $5 a centerpiece and definitely a centerpiece you can use over. Now, I know you guys have seen these Afro babies before. Um, they can come in like, you can put them on any type of clothing you want them to wear. Um, they started out with the Prince and Princess ones, then they moved into like the Jordan and Gucci. And I mean, these kids have had all kinds of clothes. And that is personally why I stopped using them um, kind of in my events because they were overused. I wanted to, you know, bring something that was unique and something that was new and something that was fresh. So um, that's kind of why I stopped using them. But I know that a lot of you guys may be interested um, on how to do them or how to create this centerpiece on a budget. So that's exactly what I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. And then I'm also going to be sharing to you, sharing with you guys some insight on how um, it's not, you know, when you, Dollar Tree DIYs are cool, but sometimes DIYing something may not always be the best option. It could, you know, cost more time and more money. And I'm going to give you guys the perfect example um, for this when I show you how I utilize uh, items, I bought uh, items from both the Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby, of course, was a better quality and it was the exact same price as the items from the Dollar Tree. The items from the Dollar Tree, you know, the quality was not as impeccable as what I'm going to show you guys from Hobby Lobby, but you guys are going to see the difference in what I'm talking to you about because with the items from Hobby Lobby, not only was it a better quality, but you also saved time. So DIY doesn't always, you know, save you money. Sometimes it will save you some time as well. So I want you guys to really pay close attention to that aspect of the video. Okay, so once you have picked out the theme that matches your event, the first thing you want to do is print out the images in mirror form so that when you glue them together, um, they will be facing in the right direction. So for this particular baby shower, the theme is a royal, like a royal princess shower. The colors are purple, lavender, and gold. So um, quite naturally, we went with the princess-themed um, Afro baby, and I thought she was super cute. I opted not to do the Afro puffs because I was personally hand-cutting these to show you how to do them a little bit cheaper, but the Afro puffs are very tough to cut out. So I decided, mm, I don't want to do that, okay? So um, once you get it, get them and you get them all cut out, you move on to step number two, which is to construct the base. So for that, I just needed, uh, you know, several different materials. I think I only spent like $30 at Hobby Lobby for everything that you see here, and I had enough things to... Uh, for 10 centerpieces. And by the way, you can no longer use the 40% off coupon at Hobby Lobby. So I started with this metallic gold Krylon spray paint. And then I got these uh, pearls on a roll. They were $3.99, but they were 50% off. And then I had my little Afro baby. I wanted the pearls to be thin, like the ones she was wearing. And then I also found some ribbon with the little ruffles on the end to match the ruffle on her diaper cover. For the actual ribbon, I wanted to go ahead and cut the ribbon to make sure that I had the right size and that I would have enough ribbon. What I like to do is first cut the ribbon, make a bow, and then from that bow, I will make kind of a template for me to follow to be able to repeat it over and over again to make sure, number one, that I have enough ribbon, and then number two, that all the sizes are consistent. So once that bow is made, I kind of, you know, kind of play around with that overall design to see exactly how I want to design it, where I want to place it. So when I start the actual construction, I'm not redoing anything once I get started. 
So for the wooden dowels, they came 10 in a pack for $2.99 at Hobby Lobby. And the little wooden uh, base or block that you see there, they came four in a pack for $2.99 at Hobby Lobby. I used this beautiful little pearl uh, bling piece from totallydazzled.com. And I just absolutely love them. I think pearls are going to be all the rave this event planning season. Number one, because of course, um, our vice president Kamala um, Harris is a wearer of pearls. And then I just feel like people are moving more from like the bling and more into the bling and the pearl mixed together just for a more refined and a different look. So I love these pearl napkin rings and I think they're gonna pair, pair really well with the pearl uh, that I'm going to place on the, the um, base. So the first thing I'm going to do is hot glue the dowel onto the bottom portion of the base. The reason I'm doing that is because I wanna also spray paint the hot glue. Now you could go ahead and spray paint them and then glue them together, but I prefer to do them the other way so that I could cover up any malfunctions that uh, may have happened with the hot glue. So the second thing I'm going to do is just kind of look at how I want to lay my bow, how I want to lay uh, the, the pearls and get my entire design together. And so while I'm waiting for the pieces, the bases to uh, dry from the spray paint, I can go ahead and be cutting all of my template pieces, such as the pearls, the bows, uh, the ribbon for the bows, and the little um, Afro baby for my centerpiece. Okay, so after we've constructed the base, the next thing we're going to do is add and accessorize. So it only took a few minutes for this to dry, maybe 10 to 15 minutes. I only used one coat of spray paint and because the wind was blowing pretty well, it was able to dry rather quickly. So the first thing I'm going to do is glue down my pearls because I want them to kind of hang like they're hanging around her neck. I also thought about adding flowers on this as well, but you can just kind of play with how you want to design your base. I was just trying to stick within a $5 budget for each centerpiece, and that includes the buying the file from Etsy.com. I think I forgot to mention that earlier. Um, so buying the file from Etsy, printing them on cardstock. So you, if you did uh, 10 centerpieces, you would need 20 copies, and then the list goes on. So that's what I wanted to do. The next thing is that um, I found these pearls at, at Dollar Tree, and I also found these Chanel, st Chanel stems, and you could have also wrapped them around to create this very same look. I think you could have gotten, um, there are 250 uh, pearls in there, so you could have definitely done 10. I think this one actually had 25 pearls on it. So you could have done 10. It would have just been a little bit more work and more time consuming. I was able to get this entire strand from Hobby Lobby for $3.99 with 50% off. So it was actually the exact same price as me getting them from the Dollar Tree. And I have less work. I have less time that I'm putting into it. And it's a little bit better quality because the pearls from uh, Hobby Lobby actually have like a very beautiful iridescent tone that I think is, is gorgeous. And again, I don't have to worry about putting the pearls on the stem and then cutting the stem and then gluing the stem like this is more secure. So all the, you know, a lot of times when you're looking at event planning and you're thinking about DIY, also think about the time that it takes to uh, not only purchase the materials, but the time that it takes to construct all the pieces together. You wanna, you know, decide whether or not DIYing is actually worth your time. Sometimes DIYing is not always best. And I know it's really easy to get caught up in the Dollar Tree craze and the Dollar Tree creativity here on YouTube. I, of all people, I love it, but it is not practical all the time. You will end up spending ultimately more time and more money if you don't, you know, kind of go through and really vet out the project that you're doing and how much it's going to cost you and how you know time effective it is and how cost effective it is. So once all of those pieces are put into place, I am so sorry, like at this point, I, re I didn't realize that I wasn't filming at the top. So 
Um, once you glue the, the Afro baby pieces together, the front and back pieces together, remember you're printing them in the mirror images so that they will lay on each other nicely. Um, once you do that, you want to make sure you leave an opening at the bottom so that when you slide it down on top of your dowel that you will be able to you know have a, a space for that to be my other recommendation is that this one was eight and a half printed on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper i would have blown this up a little bit more to make it bigger and I probably would have printed it on a um, 11 by 14 sheet of paper to make it a little bit bigger. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed today's DIY and I would love to see what your favorite theme Afro baby is down in the comments below. Do you like the sports theme one? Do you like the fashion theme one? The, the queen or king theme one? So I would love to hear what you have to say about these in the comments below. Also, if you have done a party or an event using these, I would love to see how you use them. So go to my Facebook page, uh, Living Luxuriously for Less, and tag me in your photos. Upload your photos on there and you may just see it in my next video as a shout out to you and the great work that you've done. So thank you guys so much again for watching. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. If you're not a member of the Lux for Less family, we would absolutely love to have you here. All you have to do is click on that subscribe button and you are in just like that. I'll see you guys at the next video. Until next time, cheers.